Why hasn't the WWE signed her up yet? What's the story? Top indie talent Candice LeRae is undeniably one of the best female wrestlers in the world today, but the Wrestling Observer newsletter has revealed that the WWE is still yet to offer her a permanent deal with the company, despite her appearance at the Battle Royal to determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. In case you didn't know, Candice LeRae is perhaps best known on the independent circuit for her brutal hardcore stipulation matches and intergender tag team with Joey Ryan named the world's cutest tag team. However, WWE fans will have seen her a great deal in the Mae Young Classic as she made it all the way to the semi final, beating Renee Michelle and Nicole Savoy but losing to Shayna Bossler. The heart of the matter anyone who watched the Battle Royal on NXT to determine the last contender in the NXT TakeOver War Games women's title match will be able to clearly see that Candice LeRae is already incredibly over. But, as the Wrestling Observer newsletter reports, what should be an easy decision? still hasn't been made. Next was the women's battle royal which Cross won by throwing out Billy Kay in 1219. Candice LeRae got the biggest pop, but she's not under contract so she's just there for enhancement work. She always get a big reaction and looks good and wrestles better than most, but sometimes the decision making isn't the easiest to figure out. What's next? As usual, WWE will work this out eventually. LeRae is the real deal when it comes to in-ring talent, charisma and personality and they'd be silly to let her get away when she's already made such an impression on the WWE universe. Authors take it's a no-brainer for the WWE really, but we've seen other talents like Zack Sabre Jr. and Kota Ibushi slip away after working a WWE tournament and Pete Dunne who is also only signed to a temporary contract. So it may not be cut and dry. Send us news tips at fightclub at sportskeeda.com.